grew up in uh, New Jersey and England. Yes. Correct. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles with Beatrice when I was Who 22. Who's Beatrice? Beatrice is my granddad's Buick, my first ah, only, only Buick. <laughs> what kind of Buick was it? It was a Park Avenue. It was champagne. It had oh, a long bench wow. seat. Yeah. I was it really was your grandpa's car that he had it when it was he was new. Yeah, it was new. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, champagne. It was actually not that old. It was only in 1995, so I see. it was really fancy. And he gave it to you to drive to Los Angeles. He gave it to me to drive to Los Angeles, and so I would drive to auditions, get to accidents on the way to auditions. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It How was many good. times did you crash Beatrice? I crashed Beatrice one time in a minor car ending crash. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I basically was behind someone who decided to stop at the red light that was in front of us. Uh -huh. um, and, uh, you know, these LA drivers. <laughs> what are they like? <laughs> <laughs> um, and she was the sweetest woman. And I knew, I, you know, in that moment of panic, because I really had only just gotten my license to move to LA. I thought, you have to exchange documents. What do you have to do? What do you have to do? And I didn't want to be late for the audition. So I said to this woman, and her name was Rachel, I have an audition. I'm just going to give you uh, my wallet because so you know I'm good and I'll c call you when I'm done and then we'll figure everything out. Is that okay? And she was like, okay. So I go back to drive off and like my radiator is steaming. The front of the car is so crumpled. She was okay. The, fr whole, the whole front of the car is so crumpled I can't move. And I end up like a half block later just stopping and crying. And I was like, not going to make the audition and I ruined my car. Um, and then I came back to her and she on top of all that, she said to me, you know, so you're new in LA, do you need some work? Because we've got kids if you want to babysit. And I'm thinking, <laughs> you're crazier than I am. Why would you want me to babysit your kids? <laughs> I just crashed into your car. Did yeah. you babysit the kids? No, no, no. no. I, I spared her. I am a good babysitter. I have five younger siblings. So Yeah, as long as you're not driving the kids yeah. around, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> no. Did you call your grandfather and say, guess what, bad news, yeah, uh, Beatrice yeah. is deceased? Yeah, and it sh Beatrice should have gone like then to my sister after that and this whole chain of events that just didn't oh, happen. Oh, so your sister really yeah. got screwed in this deal. Yeah, I know. We don't like to talk about... Shh. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, tell us about this movie uh, mm. you, or that you're in with Mark Wahlberg. This is, uh, you're part of a task force, which to me is like kind of a dream come true. I've always wanted to be part of a task force. Like get things done. A task like your to-do list gets done. That's the task. Usually task, a task yeah. force has one thing on their to-do list, right? <laughs> yeah. What and is this a... this is the craziest task force. Not the craziest, but it's very it's basically a black ops third option. So you've got diplomacy, warfare, and then these guys that you just let loose. And it, they're really sort of um, behind the scenes protecting the nation in pretty sometimes unorthodox ways. And so it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Movie. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine that is a lot of fun. You shot the yeah. movie in Colombia, right? We shot the movie in Bogota, and I think, you know, we basically had the keys to the kingdom. I what think is it like to shoot a movie in Colombia? When when you get to shoot in the equivalent of the Times Square in Bogota, you it's awesome. We were blowing things up. We were really lucky because it was not a movie about cocaine in Colombia. So we were, it was it was great for the country and great for oh, us. Oh, they felt and... it was refreshing to have a movie that wasn't about cocaine? Yeah, because it's not like that anymore. And so it was like, <laughs> right. it, was, it was awesome. Instead, you're able to blow cars up in <laughs> their version of Times Square. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, yeah, it was, it was a pretty it's, And it was fun. a lot of fun. Well, it, it sounds like fun. it was a lot of fun. It's a shame Beatrice couldn't be that car being blown up I right know, there in Bogota. I know, because she was already halfway there. <laughs> well, may she rest in peace. Well, it's great to see you. Uh, congratulations on the movie. And you have a television show coming to ABC coming yes. up very soon. Yes. Yes. More in the family. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great to see you. Lauren Cohen, everybody. Mile 22 over to August 17th. If you like that video, click the subscribe button, but only if you're ready for commitment.